So Hajj is taking place this week and roughly 2.5 million Muslims will be heading to Mecca to take part in the holy Islamic pilgrimage. And I'm obviously not in Mecca, but you'd think that Hajj is a time when people can focus on praying and worshipping and not worry about being tracked or surveilled, right? So why did the CIA use this stock photo of pilgrims attending Hajj and circled a Muslim man to illustrate the capabilities of new AI and surveillance technologies. After the picture was spotted from a presentation in 2018 at an Amazon Web Services conference, some digital rights groups and Muslim civil society organizations expressed some major concerns, saying this is yet another example of patterns of Islamophobia with law enforcement agencies portraying Muslims as a threat. The presentation was by a senior official in the CIA's Digital Innovations Directorate, and here's what he said. Amazing capabilities in the case of finding people people we care about, knowing who they are, what they're doing, their intentions, where they are. We've been able to deliver solutions that in 30 days not only identify and answer those questions, but allow us to scale that across multiple mission sets seamlessly. That now has become the job of headquarters. In response, the Deputy Director of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, said Muslims should not be used as a de facto example of how government technology can be deployed, and said that that is especially true of Muslims engaging in worship during the Hajj pilgrimage. The image used is a stock image of Hajj pilgrims, and there's nothing to suggest the man circled is a subject of interest to the CIA. We even reached out to the CIA to ask whether it had the capabilities to deploy these surveillance technologies to monitor people attending Hajj, and whether it would be doing so during this year's pilgrimage. But the CIA didn't respond to the questions, and a lawyer from the American Civil Liberties Union called it yet another example of how US intelligence agencies promote surveillance tools as a way of monitoring and controlling religious communities even when abroad. This is the environment. The age of expeditionary intelligence means going very, very unfriendly places very quickly to solve very tough problems. 